Now, this is your virtual box, like you guys all know, right? Is that not correct? Yeah. The only difference between my virtual box application and yours is that you don't have machines. Is that not correct? Yeah. Currently, on mine, I have machines. Now, take virtual box manager as a store. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. Take the Oracle virtual box manager as a store. Now, this is a technology called virtualization. Now, you guys remember customized, uh, custom configuration. Now, that is what we're doing right now. Now, because of finance, because of uh, likelihood of people's theft of hardware tools and components, it's quite difficult for some organizations to spend a lot of money on hardware in training students how do computer really works and using real computers in terms of their practicals. Now that is for training uh, colleges or institutions. They call it, people will call it an excuse. But on the other part of virtualization, some companies see it as a time-saving cost for them, whereby they can run multiple computers virtually rather than physically placing these computers and spending so much hard cost on hardware. Are you getting me? Cost on hardware, cost on software, and also cost on even technicians as well. Are you getting me? And not just even cost on technicians, it also is technicians' process in terms of managing the system. So, virtual box, it's like a store. And this kind of a store, it's where you create computer systems. You, you, you design computers. Like you go to Incredible Connection. You want Dell. Do you get Dell? Yes. You want Samsung. Do you get Samsung? You want a laptop. Do you get a laptop? You want a desktop. Do you get a desktop? Yes. Whatever type of computer that it's currently used globally, that is common to humans. Because some computers are not common. That's why when you hear them, you're wondering, what are you talking about? Now, the computers that are common are usually find, found in these stores. So, the virtual box manager will be using it to configure different computer machines. But the virtual box or virtual, virtualization actually calls them virtual what? Machines. You know, and our physical computers, we call them workstations. We we'll call them PCs. Is that not correct? We we'll call them computer systems. Now, in virtualization, we call it virtual what? Machines. Are we together? Okay. That's why when some people buy computers, they say this is a machine. You understand? Some of you can't call your computers machine because they are not machines. They are just calculate. They just look. They they run at the same speed as a calculator. You know. You can't call them machines. You call them computers. You don't say machines. You say this is a computer. You don't say machines. Because a calculator is a computer, right? But it's not a machine. When you get a Core i7, a, a 3.0, a 16 gig of RAM, 1 terabyte, 512 SSD, 2 gig DDR5 graphics card, then you say the what? Machine. It says a machine. Machine. A monster. Because it's a machine. Why some of you, you are computer, <laughs> and it stays like that. It's a, it's a computer. Yeah. It says a machine. So my uh, virtual machine, virtual box of virtualization calls it virtual machine. But take note, I'm actually using virtual box for this uh, demonstration, or rather, we'll be using it for our practicals. But on the mining virtual box, there are other virtualization, like the ones with Microsoft is called Hyper-V. I would have loved to use Hyper-V, but not almost not everybody runs Windows 8. And using Hyper-V on Windows 8, you don't just use any computer on Windows on Hyper-V on Windows 8. You need to really need you really need a very fast computer to use Hyper-V. But with Oracle Virtual Box, it's more of an open source, it's free, and it's also light and stable as well. That is why they have a lot of updates. Are we together? I so, yes. The questions, the new question. Mm -hmm. I checked that they ask you for uh, software that you use. Mm -hmm. They have the 
Yeah. How are they going to sit at the bridge? It's simple. Hypervisor, it's part of Microsoft, mm -hmm. um, which is a virtual machine that resides on Microsoft platform. That's, you have VMware. VMware, it's a different company mm -hmm. that does virtualization. VirtualBox is more open source for people to use it. That's why virtual, virtual machines, there are two ways to use them. You either use them for production or you use them for testing. More or less with VirtualBox, it's more on testing. Let's say you want to test Windows 8 before you install Windows 8, whether it works with a certain type of application. Mm -hmm. So virtual, virtual, virtualization, it's, it's two-way part. Some people use it for production. They use our end systems. Some use it for testing, just before they test an application in a production computer. Like the way you guys are running your visualization and there may be an application you want to install. Instead of you installing it directly to your computer and causing harm to your computer, mm -hmm. you install a Windows 7 on this virtual machine, on this virtual machine, then you run the application and see whether it's able to run on Windows 7 environment. Then you now load it into your computer. These are some of the aspects of visualization. But I think we'll get to that as well. Okay, that's by the, uh, that's by the side. Now, before I go into creating new, I want to go through the settings. Then tomorrow we'll go through the new so that you guys will be able to go home. So click on settings. We don't have a thing because we can't change. Can you please click on settings? No, if you don't have settings, you probably see preferences. Mm. On that file, I'm using a Mac, you're using Windows. Can you click on it? Yes. Does it have exactly like my screen here as well? General system, display storage, audio, network, port, share folders. We have general input update, language, display, network, extensions, proxy. Okay, no, sorry, sorry, um, sorry. I'm actually on the settings of a virtual machine. You can see it there. This is actually a, a, a virtual machine. Sorry for that. I'll go to uh, virtual box preferences. Okay, are, you, are, are, are we having the same thing now? Yeah. Okay, sorry for that. Okay, now the general tab, did you see default machine folder? Yes. Now, this is the folder location where your virtual machine file is stored. Remember, the virtual, the virtual machine is a file. Mm. Are you getting me? So that is the location where it is stored. Then you have input. Input. Mm -hmm. Do you see the input? Yes. Yeah. Now, if you go to input, you see virtual box manager, mm -hmm. and you see virtual machine. Yeah. Yes. Now, these are the <coughs> short key of your what? Your keyboard. Mm -hmm. If you want to exit, what do you, or what do you press on exit? Control what? Control Q. Control Q. Because that's a symbol for Mac. That is a, that's a symbol for control. You can come in here, and of course, you can edit it, put in a key that suits you. But of course, we want to go with the default, huh? So all of these are the short keys on your keyboard. Are we together? For this, but this is for the virtual machine, huh? Virtual box, sorry. Now for your virtual machine, you can screw down as well. It shows you all the short keys. If you want to auto-size the screen, you, you press what? What do you say there? The host plus what? A, G, G, G. G, and A, of course, if you want to resize it back. Control, or delete your host and, of course, your backward key. Now, these are just the short keys on your keyboard. Now, let's go to your Windows. You know your, your Windows. Windows is your host. Windows is your host. That's what we mean by that. Now, so you have to click on Windows and you press the key then, of course. Then you go to Update. Of course, this is where you want to check Update regularly if you have internet connection. Then you go to Language. So those of you who are Portuguese, you can come here and say Brazil. Yeah, because they love Brazil. I don't know why. But of course, we are using the default, which is what? Because we're in the English nation. Yeah, by default. Now, you can go to your display. Did you see your display there? Yeah. What is the width? Ah, because you don't have good graphics card. Or rather, 
mine is actually this because I'm using the projector to, to stream. So this is the resolution of the projector. Huh? Because that's my display. My computer is no longer the display. The projector is the display. Then, did you see network? Now, currently, you don't have a NAT. NAT network is where you want to put an adapter that will be doing the translation for you. Are you getting me? Your virtual machine, you can have all your virtual machines, like you can have 10 virtual machines. The NAT network, whatever network you put there, an adapter, once you create one there, it will be acting as the external adapter to translate the users from the virtual machine out of the network. That is why you notice there's no adapter installed yet. If you want to install an adapter, you come here and click on add. Are you seeing it? Yeah. Then an adapt you see a NAT adapter has been added. Yeah. Are you seeing it? Yeah. Okay, can you go back and just select it and say I uh, can't uh, delete? Say so remove. remove. Yeah. Then this one is for host only. If you want to do just host only connection. So they'll be using this adapter for communicating for the host. Mm -hmm. huh? That's only communication communication, meaning virtual machine. To the host. Host means your computer system. It doesn't go out. Mm -hmm. It's only between the virtual machine and your computer communicates. Ah, okay. Not out. Not goes out. Are you getting me? Ah. Yeah. But that's 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 for the virtual machine now. That this is like your office. I are we together? This is like your office now that we are trying to set up. Huh? Then extension pack, you guys all have your extension pack installed, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if for example you have a proxy. Let's say there's a proxy server you're using on this network. You want to probably put the proxy setting so that in case you're doing translation, you'll be able to go through the proxy server. Now, that is just a general tab of virtual box. The next thing we're going to do tomorrow, we're going to start with the icon that it's, you guys can see here. What color is that? Blue. Sky blue. Sky blue. Huh? Now, you notice that settings is grayed out. Start is grayed out. This is because you don't have what? A new machine. So by tomorrow, we're going to click on the new button. When you click on the new button right now, did you see anything like looks like my computer as well? Yes. Now, this is where you start creating and designing your machine. If you notice, yeah, you give it a name. That is why Dell, Enso, what else again? Samsung, Toshiba. That is a name, manufacturing name. The next step is to select what type of operating system. Now, we don't just only have Microsoft, right? Yes, we have Linux, Solaris, BSD, IBM, Mac, Mac and any order that we do not know, but it's an operating system, we click on what? Orders. Are we together? Yes. You're setting the computer right now. Yes. If you were to click on Mac, for example, you'll notice it brings up the Mac versions. You see the Mac versions. Yes. You can see Maverick only supports 64 bits, but the Mac OS supports 32 bits. Snow Leopard supports 32 bits. Lion only supports 64. I don't know why they don't have Tiger. Mountain Lion 64 bits and Maverick 64 bits. Are we together? Yes. Let's try Windows. When we go to Windows, if you go to the drop down list of Windows, you see all the from the earliest Windows. 3.1. Can you see all the versions of your Windows? 95, 98, Me, NT, 2000, XP, 2003, Windows Vista. 2003 is a server. Vista is a client. 2008 is a server. Windows 7 is a client. Windows 8 is a client. 2012. And any other Windows that we do not know. Mm. Or we are not aware of. Then you select it. Are we together? That is why during our selection, you guys will notice that the, the virtual machine actually pick, will pick the default minimum level to run that Windows. The RAM, the hard drive, and all the specs. Yeah. But as we go, we're going to do some customization. Are we together? But in this lab practicals, we're only just going to be setting computers. When your exam comes, you may be required to set more than one computer. Are we together? I'll stop here today.